The Weekly Weekly. <coughs> oh gosh. Bang dang 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 Huh? Yes, sir. Where do baby haircuts come from? Uh, Daddy haircuts grow up strong with sturdy waves and whiskers long. Then mommy haircuts come along and uh, out pop baby haircuts, son. Hello. Welcome back. So, many of you might be wondering, what was that lovely video about at the beginning? It had a purpose. Don't worry. This is the Weekly Weekly Hair Transformation. Dun, dun, dun. There will be a big reveal. Be prepared for that. Haircuts, like obviously haircuts don't mate and have children, baby haircuts. If they did, I don't know what would be happening. That's kind of strange. But there are haircuts that are better for some people and not as good for other people. So in this weekly, weekly experience, you are going to find out what should I do with my hair? I don't know. Da, 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 da. Here we go. So, with haircuts, basically, my number one rule with haircuts is have fun with your hair. There are too many people out there that just kind of go with the status quo. And if you're one of those status quo people, I just want to say I'm sorry for you. <laughs> yes, I mean, you might get the same haircut every time, and it might look really good on you, but there are so many other haircuts. There's so many other styles you can try out there. I really believe that if since your hair grows back, you can do whatever you want with it. Rule number two, confidence is key when it comes to anything, style or hair or anything with you. If you're not confident in how you're feeling, then everyone else is going to feel that too. So when it comes to hairstyles, when it comes to what you're wearing, wear something that's going to make you feel confident. and. Hopefully, you can venture out there and try things a little different, but don't always go. Rule number three, don't always go looking to all your friends to say, what should I do with this and what should I do with that? Yeah, ask their opinions, kind of get a consensus, but figure out what you really want to do. I mean, it's your hair. It's not somebody else's hair that's going to be wearing it. So do something fun that you like. Rule number four, there's... Things like face shapes that certain hairstyles work for, certain hairstyles don't. Okay, so let's look at let's look at my face shape. If you can see, my face shape is more like oval. It's exaggerated because I'm wearing this, but can you kind of see the oval going on here? If you have an oval face shape, you're really blessed. Not saying that I'm like, woo, I'm cool, I'm all that. No, you're really blessed because oval face shapes can wear a lot of different styles. If you're going to do it long, the oval is still going to look good with that. But even if you do like that short cut um, for a girl or even for, for guys, the oval is going to be a good. If your face is more round, you want to stay away from um, cuts that are short and kind of end here because... Um, a round face that's going to exaggerate the roundness of your face and it's gonna just make everything kind of look bigger so you don't want to do the little shortcuts um, if you have if you have um, exaggerated features so if you have some good cheekbones going on or um, or if like you have a, like an exaggerated jawline then that's gonna bode well for you with kind of the stranger cuts because your it's um, cuts that are shorter or cuts that are around your face are different. It's going to pull out your features and it's going to show those features more. So anything that kind of frames your face, that's going to help out. Yeah.
There's definitely other face shapes out there, but those are the two main ones that I can think of right now. So, I'm obviously forgetting some. Post down if you have more questions about face shapes, because I could go on for days about that, but I'm gonna jump to something else. So post below if you wanted to know, hey, like what about this face shape? Or honestly guys, look online too, because there's so much. So one, find out what your face shape is, and then two, see what looks good with your face shape, what's gonna bring out your natural beauty. Okay, I don't know what I'm on, maybe like five or six, wherever I'm at, whatever rule I'm at. Next rule is, when it comes to color in your hair, there's skin tones that colors look better on. So, if your skin tone is um, more of like an olivey skin tone, then that, that bodes well for you because, excuse me, oh gosh, olivey skin tones can really pull out the like your reds and it's not going to wash out your face because you have that like nice olive complexion you can do the nice darks you don't want things that are going to wash out your face that are going to pull everything away so have you ever seen somebody that their their hair is really dark but their skin tone it like doesn't suit it for some reason well that's because their skin tone it's it's a skin tone that is going to be a lighter skin tone it's going to um, the the dark hair all around is going to exaggerate the lightness of it and it's going to really wash them out and that's not what you want. Your golden skin tones, yeah, you can start bringing in more of the light colors. But here again, with colors, have fun with it. Play around, just do stuff that you like, that you um, enjoy. So, the big reveal. I wanted to say that there's times when your hair is in process, um, that you're kind of going somewhere with it. And in that I mean, um, you're figuring out, okay, I kind of like this cut, but what would happen if I added this color or this or that? And so with my hair, with the cut that I got, which the cut is pretty much the same, but we went for some color. So I think I'll just show you guys and then I'll tell you what's happening. So obviously, you know, I kind of have the curly, wavy thing going on. But what I wanted to do was, um, like, in February especially, people, February is kind of dreary. And this is when you're going to see people start adding some more color back into their hair because they're, like, ready for spring. So don't be afraid to, if you're one of those people who follows the trends of, oh, I only go dark during the winter and I only go light during the summer, throw that out the window. Why do we care what the trends are? Do what's good for you. So, February can get dreary, and so what I wanted to do was add some more lightness back into it. You can see that we're gonna, we've got some light, we got some lightness coming back into my hair, and then we added some darker at the bottoms. I wanted to almost do like a reverse ombre kind of effect just because I wanted to try something out, try something different. And actually, in this case, so you can see the, the light coming in at the top, but in this case, we want to go in and we want to do, um, like add some, some darker tips at the bottom. We didn't like how dark it was. And I don't know if with the lighting, if you guys can see kind of what it's looking like. But we want to go and just add some darker darker tips at the bottom and just have a little bit more fun with it than, um, than it is right now. I just want to finish this out by saying have fun and be confident with your style. Make sure that your confidence is not coming from your style though. Make sure that your confidence is coming from inside of you and just know that you are beautiful, that you're handsome, that that God made you who you are and he made you the style that you are for a reason. And I would encourage you to embrace that style and to hold on to it with all that you have because there's going to be people your whole life that tell you that, oh, that you look like this or that you look like that or why would you try to do that? You just can't let the voice inside of you, the, the voice that's telling you that you are beautiful, that you are handsome, that who you are is important. You can't let those other people's voices drown out the truth that God is trying to speak to you. And so I just wanted to tell you guys that that whoever you are, whoever's watching this video, that I love you, 
that the style that you are, that it is fun and and it is important and that you are beautiful, that you are handsome and that God made you who you are for a reason. So embrace your style, embrace that creativity, embrace all of that and just let that shine out into the things that you put on your body and the things that you do with your hair and really have fun with it. So I will see you guys next week and thanks for tuning in to The Weekly Weekly. Bye. The Weekly Weekly. Oh gosh.